Many people say gray is a perfect neutral color because it can go with almost any color out there. And perhaps there's a grain of truth to that. However, it's one of the hardest neutrals to get right. When it comes to gray paint colors, you have either a cool gray or a warm gray. A cool gray has blue gray, violet gray, or blue green gray undertones. But when it comes to a warm gray, you have green gray or a green gray grayish undertones. What makes gray so complicated is the undertones underneath the color of a gray. It fluctuates depending on the type of lighting and the color that you have in your interior decor. However, there is a paint color that I want all of you to know about. It's called Sea Salt by Benjamin Moore. I'm going to show you the undertones of this paint color and what makes it so unique. Also, I'm going to show you how it reacts to lighting and I'm going to give you three valuable tips that you need to know about this paint color before deciding to paint it in your home. I treat every single one of my online clients as if their home is my home. I know colors inside and out and the last thing I want is to have them make a costly mistake and the same thing goes for you. So I want to show you what makes this color so unique and how this color could be the right one for you. Right here, sea salt. Now watch what happens when I compare it to Repose Gray by Sharon Williams. Notice the warm gray and sea salt. Now I want to show you something else about sea salt, so watch this. Right here, sea salt. Now watch what happens when I compare it to Wool Skeen by Sherwin Williams. You'll notice how there's a gray and there is a beige, but notice how it's cooler than a beige, and this is what makes this color a grayish. What I want you to know about sea salt is that it has more brown color mixed into this paint, and that's what makes this grayish paint color so unique. However, when it comes to lighting, it will play a major role on whether or not this paint color could work for your home. Sea Salt by Benjamin Moore is not for everyone and not every home will have the right lighting, interior decor, or design layout to pull it off. But for those of you that are looking for a touch of gray without any of the complicated undertones, then this just might be the right paint color that you're looking for. Let's take a look at sea salt in a south facing room. You'll notice that it has all the hallmarks of a grayish paint color. It's almost white, but it has a shade of gray and brown when you receive a lot of natural lighting. However, if you have a room that fluctuates in lighting or you have a room that's north facing that doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting, then you need to watch this. In a north facing room or any room where you receive less natural lighting, you'll notice that this paint color will have a soft gray brown color and it will look almost like a light sand that you will see in a beautiful beach. Bottom line is sea salt will fluctuate in color and that's true for almost any gray paint color out there. You can't escape it, but you can embrace it as long as you have the right elements to pull it off in your home. And for those of you that are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I give you valuable information just like you're seeing right here in this video. I talk about anything related to color for both the interior and the exterior of your home. Next, I'm going to give you three valuable tips that you should know about sea salt before painting this color in your home. Tip number one, I get asked this question all the time. What's the difference between Benjamin Moore Sea Salt versus Sherwin Williams Sea Salt? Right here's Benjamin Moore Sea Salt. Now watch what happens when I compare it to Sherwin Williams Sea Salt. You can see the difference almost immediately. Benjamin Moore Sea Salt is a grayish and Sherwin Williams Sea Salt is a blue green. Tip number two, a grayish paint color is only 15 to 30% darker than a white paint color. So for all of you out there that are not a fan of off-white paint colors or light paint colors, then I would not recommend this paint color for your home. Tip number three, for those of you who have taupe furniture, true white fabrics, light gray floor rugs, and gold accents, then sea salt would pair perfectly with this type of interior decor. But this is just one of many different styles that could work for your home. What do you think of sea salt? Or have you painted your home with a grayish paint color? And how did it turn out for you? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your story. And for those of you that are looking to paint your home right, 
the first time, then feel free to check out the link in the description section down below. I show you how I can help you regardless where you live in North America. Thank you for watching and feel free to share this video with your friends and family. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.